Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I will show you how you can see the frames per second and look at some other statistics in Flight Simulator. Uh, the reason I'm posting this video is after each large update, you always see, I would say, some people complaining about frames being dropped, etc. And I want to show you how you can look at it yourself. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into developer mode. And to go into developer mode, you need to go to options. And then when on general, you will have the developers option here and you can switch it on. It will result in a bar being displayed on the top. And it says in this case, if an update is available for the SDK, it will show you. And then you've got the ability to I would say, download the latest version and install the latest SDK update. But for now, we will leave it. So what you can do to, or what you need to do, I should say, to show the uh, frames per second is well, kind of easy. So what you need to do is you go to the uh, options uh, menu, and there you will say, or you will see display FPS. As soon as you did that, you see a nice uh, overview here and you can see uh, things scrolling and things changing a lot and here are the frames per second right which are currently set to uh, 76 and then you see the main threads the manipulators the rdr threads the uh, coherent uh, gt draw and the cpu um, and on the bottom part you see the memory usage so in this case it's uh, using six gigs out of uh, the 32 gigs uh, which are in my, my machine and from the GPU, which is the graphic card, it uses two gigs out of uh, the seven or almost eight gig uh, available. So after you hit apply and save, it will remember this setting and you can go to, uh, for example, one of your favorite airports and do some checks. So uh, let me pause recording and then I will go to one of my, air or if, of my favorite airports and then I will show you how you can keep an eye on the uh let's say information which is displayed as part of the sdk right you can also exit the sdk and it will still be shown um but in some cases it's irritating that it shows it right so um let me go to uh rotterdam airport uh in this case uh yeah. i will take off from the uh let's say ramp and then I will click fly and for I would say for recording purposes I will now pause recording and, and then I will uh, continue recording uh, once uh, the airport is loaded because it will it can take some some time and we're back at Rotterdam airport as you can see the uh, the aircraft is uh, nicely parked and you can see the graphs here popping up, right? So they're currently at uh, 1820 frames uh, per second. And you can see it's, uh, I would say, jumping by limited by RDR threads uh, compared to other things. Um, so it's not the most nice experience, right? Now even dropped to 10, frame, 10 frames. Now it went up back to 19 frames. So let's go uh, inside the aircraft. By, uh, pressing uh, ready to fly so here it stands so currently it's set at 10 frames right which is pretty uh, pretty low and you can see hey it's limited by the RDR thread which if you look at uh, the multiple things you can see that the RDR thread is here so I will explain a few things. If it's limited by main thread, that simply means that it's uh, tr uh, to say throttled by the CPU. And uh, if you would look uh, via the Windows Task Manager, you can create a view where you see the multiple or the different cores being uh, displayed. And if especially core 00, which is the first one, is really heavily loaded, then it will have an effect on the other cores due to the fact that that specific core is responsible for the CPU scheduling of the other cores. So keep that in mind. Uh, what you can do to reduce this load is in most cases is a switch of options. So let's have a look at some of the options. Uh, you can see that the options are also loading a little bit slow. 
uh, one of the options which I would say has I'd say the most positive impact uh, has to do with the uh, number of traffic um, which is available. So what you can do is you can set, hey, I want to have the uh, artificial intelligence offline or you want to have the uh, server uh, real-time online, right? Then you can see real-time people or you can switch it off uh, completely. So let, let's do that for now. Uh, other things like the airport live, right? The airport uh, vehicle, vehicle, or vehicle density, ground aircraft density, worker density. If you reduce those, that will would also improve. And the same thing uh, is valid for the uh, land and sea traffic. If you reduce those values, then uh, for example, if you would reduce this one, then you, in most cases, will see a positive impact on the uh, main thread. Then there's other stuff, um, right? So the art artificial intelligence and multiple-layer traffic details, uh, currently they're switched to, uh, to on, right? So it's using uh, generic airplanes. But uh, as we already switched the option off, uh, aircraft tra traffic type, uh, we can do it also here to make sure that this is completely switched off. Let's leave this one on uh, on high, right? It uh, generates random uh, random airplanes, uh, at least if you switch on this option. And there's the online functionality. Uh, based on reports I saw on the internet, some people say, hey, you need to switch them all off, right? Like this, but that will also mean that it doesn't use the Bing data. And it also doesn't use the photogrammetry option, uh, which I think is something which you really want to use. Uh, so let's see if we uh, do it like this. Uh, if we can, I would say, have better frames. Uh, so we click on apply and save. And then we will check if it improves. I'm doubting to be honest, but let's see. So you can see after you change those settings, it needs to apply them. And that kind of results in that the flight simulator will kind of... Uh, I would say you need to reload things. You can also see the uh, the turning circle here. And once that's done, it will uh, bring you back to the cockpit where we were. And uh, let's see if that uh, that improves uh, improves the stuff. So here you can see it's now limited by my main thread, which simply it means it's uh, limited by the CPU. In the, the bottom window, yeah, right, so you can still see the memory, right, six, uh, 16 out of uh, 32, and it's using uh, approximately 5 gig out of the uh, 7.2 uh, gig uh, video memory. See, it takes, takes some time before it processes all changes, so keep that in mind. So what I will do is I will pause the video here again and then I will uh, return when once it has applied those settings because it, it could take a few seconds or even a few minutes before it has applied all those uh, changes. I'm all back, it has loaded all the stuff so we can go to uh, resume. And they will see that it still is lim limited by the RDR thread. So what are those RDR threads? What are they exactly, right? Because that, that might be the question for you. And the RDR threads, right? I found the answer on the uh, for our, for our flight simulator.com. And what it says, it's the list of instructions of stuff to be drawn minus the gauge system that gets sent to the GPU to be drawn. Then the GPU has to load the files, mesh and structures, uh, oh, sorry, mesh and textures and create set textures. If not already there, then create the frame, texture it, shade it, anti-alias it, scale it, and send it to the display. So it simply means that it's sending a lot of instructions to the GPU. The GPU needs to do some, do some stuff, and then it, I would say, kind of I, delays things. And it can have, I would say, a lot of causes, uh, because I did some research on that, and it looks like it has to do with settings uh, on both the NVIDIA settings in my case, and the settings in Flight Simulator. Uh, so for now, I will, I will simply accept them, right? So we'll start the engine uh, 
and then we'll see if it improves uh, when starting to fly because this is the most interesting part in some cases you will only see it happening when I would say on the ground but as soon as you go airborne it will improve and for some airports it might be I would say even worse compared to other ones uh, so let me uh, turn the aircraft and you can already see it right that the number of frames is low you can see it's it's not idle so you can see some uh, jets here someone going of course far too, too fast because it was simply checking the systems uh, but I want to show you the difference uh, when flying in the air so you can see it already increases right so it measures the frames per second live and it also shows you what the issue is for example we can see now it still is the uh, RDR thread and sometimes you see the CPU one which is uh, causing issues and if you set the settings differently for example if you set the settings to uh, to ultra high it will also have an impact on the memory usage so keep an eye on that I was playing around with it and I I think it went even up to the, the maximum uh, memory which I have in my, sh in my machine uh, eventually. So I think there's also something, uh, I would say, with this uh, scenery in, uh, in Rotterdam where it uses simply too much uh, resources. It looks great, as you can see. Uh, Cloud Citra looks great, the details look great. So there's another A320 in front of us, so we probably need to wait till it departs. So let's uh, put the, the aircraft on parking brake and then let's go outside and see what the impact is on that. So we're now going, we're now, we're now outside, right? And we can see that it's still around 15 frames. Ideally it should be around 30 frames. Uh, I even see people reporting, hey, it needs to be 60 frames. But 30 frames is, say, kind of acceptable based on uh, my, say, experience. But it looks like that it changes every update and that's i would say the most frustrating thing right it would be nice if the uh, frames per second would be uh, pretty stable so i'm not gonna go airborne right so did not take did not ask for approval but hey it's just to show you the frames per second And what are suggestions if you hit issues like uh, what I'm currently exper experiencing, right? So there are a lot of threads on the Microsoft Flight Simulator.com uh, website in the fora. There are a lot of uh, discussions going on. There are a lot of people who are, I would say, providing you feedback and providing you with, I would say, their optimal settings. So use the community to share your best uh, settings so other people can benefit from it. So you can see the number of frames was already climbing. It still is uh, limited by uh, RDR thread mostly, although it's now also say, showing the message uh, limited by CPU sometimes, as you can see. But it goes crazy fast, right? It changes so fast that sometimes it's hard to read. Uh, so we're climbing. And let's see if it improves, right? So we're, we're coming close to the 30 uh, right now. It's uh, 24. And it goes upwards. And every time you're exceeding a value, right, the uh, the part is red. So what you can, I would say, conclude from this piece is that most things are happening due to the main threads and the RDR, RDR threads, which are all uh, well, where the main threads are caused by the CPU and the RDR threads are caused by the GPU, uh, not handling all the, uh, say, uh, textures etc correctly from memory consumption based you can st still see we've got enough memory available so that should not be the issue um, so what could be other things you can look at right so let me go into the settings again uh, in general if you go to the uh, graphics you will have several options here which you can modify and change uh, you can see that Currently, I've set most of the settings too high, and there are some settings also set to low, like the uh, ambient uh, occlusion. Uh, changing these settings will have an impact, and there are great uh, fora where it's described. Okay, hey, if you change this setting, it will have an impact on your CPU. If you will change this setting, it has an impact on the CPU. 
So what I will do is I will post all those links in the uh, comment box of my video so you can have a look at them yourself uh, to improve your, uh, I would say, graphical settings for Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, here ends this video. Uh, it was, a, I would say, kind of maybe not what you expected, right? I didn't go give you the solution for improving your uh, frames per second, but at least gave you some guidance uh, in which direction you can search. I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then please feel free to use the comment box. And if you want to stay up to date about other videos I'm posting, then consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.